In this course, we're going to look at designing and implementing Active Directory domain services. And we will primarily be focusing on the logical structure. That's right, Ammon. And directory domain services, Active Directory domain services, have both a logical and a physical structure. Mm -hmm. And in this course, we're going to focus on the design and the implementation of the logical structure of Active Directory. Another option is a resource forest. The resource forest is common with uh, directory integrated applications such as Microsoft Exchange. In other cases, you might require multiple domain trees. The primary reason for implementing multiple domain trees would be that each tree has a separate DNS namespace, and this is useful in acquisitions, mergers, or in other instances that might require different domain names within the organization. Regional domains and resource domains are really a type of single domain tree model. The functional level as you might recall, relates to the version of operating system that's running on the domain controllers. Now this is a configuration change that can be pushed forward but can never revert backwards. Domain functional levels will require that all domain controllers in a particular domain will be running a minimum version of the operating system depending on the functional level. And then we looked at the, the trust relationships that are inherent to multi-domain and multi-forest scenarios and discussed designing and implementing those various trust models. Right. And one thing to consider in multi-domain and forest scenarios, DNS namespaces are a very important consideration. And we looked at the location of DNS information mm -hmm. and its integration, more importantly, maybe into, into yeah. Active Directory. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we looked at upgrading and migrating existing versions of Windows and domain controllers to the new versions of Active Directory.